I use a lot of found objects and recycled materials in my work. I like to use materials that have a, um, a bit of history to them. They've had a previous use, so that they already come with a story. Using glass from demolition yards and bottle dumps and finding pebbles on the beaches, going through junkyards and junk shops looking for just the um, waste products from consumer life as well. I think that my best work is when I transform that material so that it can become almost unrecognisable. As it's, it's fun when, when people um, can't quite figure it out. They, for example, with some of my glass works, with the louvre glass, they'll say, what stone is that? Or is it quartz? Or what is it? They know that it's something. Um, and so I'll tell them that it's actually louverite which is just a make-believe word, which hints at it being a sort of a mineral material, but it's not, of course. When I um, buy the louver panes, I usually don't actually have to spend too much money because they are a big waste product. I love the look of beach glass, and so I set about recreating that in my home studio by using a, um, a tumbler, which is what um, gem polishers use. Um, and it basically is a rubber barrel that has some grit in it and it um, rotates around and around and around with this sort of slurry of grit and uh, glass fragments so that the edges are worn in much the way that beach glass is worn. In the sunken city work I was thinking of a um, post-apocalyptic world where um, there might be some fragments or remnants of our civilization that are revealed as the oceans then recede. So kind of like how you find beach glass and things now, um, thinking of all the little shards and clues as to previous technology that could be found and then used um, by the descendants of our society who might use them as tools or adornment or whatever or what are these pretty things that we find so I was imagining that kind of um, Margaret Atwood world. I'd like the value in my work to have come from the ideas that are involved in the way that I use the materials. I am interested in, in using as many reusable materials as possible. It's partly an aesthetic choice. I think that they're very seductive. Using something out of its context is quite um, an attractive idea to me because these, these objects have a history and, and you're kind of subverting their, their intended use or you're reclaiming them. It's also about trying to avoid using the conventional materials that are associated with heavy industry and mining in the way that precious materials are. The exploitation of the environment and a lot of um, the workers and the people in those areas where we're getting some of our precious stones and metals from. So if I can avoid that as much as possible, I'm interested in doing that. What I like about making jewellery as opposed to working in another medium is the way that jewellery offers a portable medium for the expression of my ideas. Um, people can then adopt that um, to, to use expressively on themselves so that your body can become uh, like an exhibition space for the piece of jewellery and the ideas that it is communicating.